Are you still enjoying it as well? Oh, I love it. I Why mean, it's a not... huge show. It's a Where great show. Where was I the other day? Oh, I can't. Oh, I know. I was in Chernobyl. Um, you know, the As weather... you do. Yeah, yeah we were filming. What were you, you were allowed to film out there? Yeah, I was weren't wandering you, about. Weren't you worried about radioactive levels? No. No, both my scrotums are fine. <laughs> Well, well, one's dropped off. <laughs> but the other one's swollen up. <laughs> Massively. Um, no, no, it's, you're ama- amazingly fine. I was thinking, weren't you? But you were told it was going to be uninhabitable for a quarter of a million years. 28 years later, I was wandering around in... So the BBC let you film it up there? You don't really listen to what the... Because I was thought, when they say the BBC, safety. yes, health and safety always have an objection. So what you do is you nod yeah, and then ignore them. You're writing about a radioactive disaster. Just ignore them. I was, it was, I was, I was, it was, it was, it was. Yeah, we would just happen to be there. It wasn't so much. I mean, obviously, you have to be sensitive. Yeah, but you don't 31... just happen to be there. It's not a detour from anywhere. Well, no, weirdly, we did just happen to be there, and it was. You know, you have to remember, thirty-one people died, so we weren't really cocking around in yeah. there a lot, like. We do some places. years after the the worst possible disaster <laughs> and I was wandering around in jeans and training shoes and you think I know I'm supposed to have thrown my shoes away but I haven't but it's don't tell me you brought them into this studio you haven't got radioactive shoes do you know I have <laughs> These are the very shoes that I was wearing. Clarkson's turned up in a dirty bomb. (laughs) I am a human dirty bomb. I bet you wouldn't have taken your dirty bomb onto Norton with your radioactive shoes. Don't bring them in here. No, we have to wear a suit for that. But I thought this was the radio. But turns out there's hundreds of television cameras in here as well. 